At the bottom of the Surlis Valley in San Bernardino County sits the lonely mining town of Trona. A little less than 1,600 people live and work in this sun-beaten community, but you wouldn't know it by the vast emptiness of this place. But if you follow the mineral piles of borax and soda ash out of town, it'll lead you to a whole nother world. This was definitely what people would think of, like what the moon used to look like before um, we actually got there. Standing tall above the Surlis Valley floor are the Trona Pinnacles, a towering series of alien looking rocks. So this is all calcite. Basically everything that we see around here is made of one mineral and that's calcite. According to geologist Kevin Schreckengost, the lumpy spiring rock formations are actually not rocks. Here, these pinnacles are made of what we call tufa, which is a type of uh, limestone. Oh wow, it's whoa, crazy bubbles. You may remember tufas from the episode I did on Mono Lake. This is a baby tufa. This is a baby tufa. This is a fresh tufa. Now, without getting too complicated, tufas are simply just a bunch of minerals piled on top of each other. Similar to Mono Lake, the Surlis Valley was what's called a terminal lake, which means snowmelt from the mountains fills up the lake, but there's no outlet or river to release the water. These are essentially just big puddles. Big puddles. <laughs> yep, very big puddles. Over time, minerals from the mountains made their way down into the ancient lake through underground springs and cracks in the earth. Then, eventually over thousands of years, the sun evaporated all the water, leaving minerals behind. Minerals piling on minerals? Is that how it's happening? Yeah, exactly. Kevin says Surlis Lake was several times larger than Mono Lake before all of its water evaporated around 12,000 years ago. And that's why the tufas here are much larger. The tallest of the pinnacles that we have here is about 30 meters, so that's roughly like 90 feet. Because of their size and unique shape, the Trona Pinnacles have been featured in a number of movies. Planet of the Apes was filmed uh, scenes here, uh, Star Trek V. Amazing. The land. Oh, what could I do? It's also been included in music videos by, I believe, Rihanna and Lady Gaga. Before Hollywood discovered the Trona Pinnacles, the Surlis family found them in the late 1800s. They were trying to mine for borax and, and other minerals, and they didn't quite understand what they had underneath them for a while. The tufas are made of calcite, which is pretty much worthless, but the ground around the tufas is loaded with borax and another valuable mineral called trona, which is used in glass making, paper production, detergents, and baking soda. It's uh, one of the largest uh, kind of trona operations uh, in the Western United States. The mining operation is far from the trona pinnacles, which are actually protected by the Bureau of Land Management. And that's a good thing because they're fragile and tufas of this size can only be found in a handful of places around the world. From the Trona Pinnacles, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads. Whew, it is dry out here.